Hello everyone, this is Igor Imeev and Smaps Company. Today I am in a unique place. Uh, this is uh, the international branch of the oldest school in Britain, one of the oldest in Europe and in the world. The school was founded in the 17th century. Can you imagine a school that is more than 1000 years old? Where is it located? Well, it's about uh, 50 minutes by train from London. So, it's not that far away. And what you should know about King's School International? These two buildings were built in 2018. They are brand new. And these two buildings, both of them, won a British award. They were ranked first among all the academic buildings in the country. So, the kids who study here, yeah, they study in the best possible learning environment of all schools in the United Kingdom. And it's cool to realize that the history of this uh, school goes back more than 1000 years, meaning it's a school with a rich history, and yet this school is investing in um, new modern buildings and facilities and attracts international students. <music> Kent is a county that is a part of South East England. World-famous stars were born here and created the iconic Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Also, the city of Canterbury is located here in this county. One of the city's iconic landmarks is the Canterbury Cathedral, which is the country's main Anglican church in one of the oldest cathedrals. The cathedral building was built in 603 and designed in Gothic style. Canterbury Castle, another landmark of the city, is is the second largest landmark right of the Canterbury Cathedral. This is a Norman castle, which was one of the three original royal castles of Kent on a pair with Rochester and Duart. All of these castles were built after the Battle of Hastings on the main road that leads from Duart to the capital of England. It was exactly this road that William the Conqueror's troops took in 1066. Even though the city is ancient, the culture, entertainment and education here are at very modern level. An example of this can be seen in King's School Canterbury, which is the oldest school in the UK and, at the same time, boasts the most modern international college, which uses the latest technologies and methods in education. <music> Tutors are living at the school all the time and also the matron, it's like a second mother for the children. How are the floors arranged? Uh, there are three floors here, uh, classrooms are on the first floor, the second floor is uh, the floor where the boys live, uh, the third floor is for the girls. And uh, the head of uh, the school has uh, her own um, room here, or should I call it apartment? It's hard to call it room, it's more like an apartment that goes to all three floors and she has access to all of them so she can keep an eye on everyone. A personal tutor is staying here all the time and kids, when they have um, some questions or they need some help, they can ask for it at any time, an academic tutor is always here on campus to ask any questions and this person will always help with um, improving academic performance, help kids, provide psychological help, academy help, um, all of this you will find here. Now I am in the music classroom, uh, all the most modern equipment for children is available here. For example, they told me what the children are learning. One of the last assignments was to come up with a sound design for Toy Story. Do you remember the Toy Story? All the kids were given a fragment and they came up with their own music and recorded it here. They have all the software and the latest software for the Mac. And then they just compared the results. In my opinion, it's really cool. There are separate rooms for personal lessons, a piano, flute and lots of other stuff. Uh, whatever instrument you come up with, it's here. In every sense, the structure of this school is unique. It's based on the classic British educational system – rigorous and selective. At the same time, this school also includes King's International College. In other words, this is an international department where foreigners can enter to prepare for further admission to the best British schools. In England, Canterbury is also known for being one of the safest places to study.
James is uh, showing the school to me now, and uh, here is one of the um, um, parts. There's uh, this wall that separates uh, the hallway from uh, the like the recreation or study area. And you can write on this wall, you can get together in small groups and work on projects here. Just awesome. I really liked it. Really. And of course, there is a common area for recreation. There is also a table where kids can play table soccer. There are tables where you can eat all kinds of food. In addition to having dining room, you can buy and bring food from the store, bring it and cook it. This is where you can get together with your friends, uh, here are some couches, you can watch TV, the windows here are ceiling to floor, it's like um, 3 meters high. The yard is behind the window, and on this side too, the windows are 2 meters high. Then there is an exit into the hallway, and then an exit into the courtyard. There are green areas on uh, both sides. A quick room tour. Now, large closets, high ceilings, it's uh, kind of like an attic room here, and it's probably 4 feet high. And big windows again, no super modern furniture, the rooms are for um, two people, each person has their own closet, uh, there is a study area, also safes for children in case they need to put anything. I was told that one uh, guy came and brought, guys attention, 178 pairs of of shoes. Look right here when you walk in there are already specially built-in shelves for shoes but uh, 170 pairs won't fit here and as always it's uh, the little details that matter. Look how thought out the closet is and on the side uh, there is a, such a shelf uh, where you can put uh, something and you can turn on the light. Read. A little but nice thing. And look another thing about the school. It's uh, This room is a dormitory and it's a uh, big but um, the table in it may look relatively small, and you see, there is a stool, it's a custom, it's a custom-made stool, and it's all done on purpose. A narrow little table and uh, the stool, so the children don't sit in their rooms, uh, but they go out and socialize with uh, each other, work on projects and learn English. That is, everything here is uh, thought out so much in detail for the best result as fast as possible. Well, you can make a 2 meter table here and uh, like put a big bed and all this can easily fit here, but uh, then the kids would spend more time on the bed and sit with their computer at the table. Do you need it? No. They can do almost any kind of sport here, and here, for example, is one of the gyms. Uh, this gym is not just for our basketball, although we see a basketball court. There is also a separate outdoor basketball court in addition. You can also play um, mini soccer. Everything necessary for fencing is available as well. There are signs on the wall. I don't know much about fencing, but there are signs uh, that uh, count the points uh, you make. And as you can see, everything is provided for that here. Uh, there are ping pong tables, uh, the students here can do swimming, uh, they can do sailing as well, and uh, here's just about everything you can think of, it's uh, all available here. <laughs> All the art that we see here is uh, either done by students of uh, the school or um, graduates of the school. Another really cool room is uh, the art room. 
This is where they do all kinds of um, drawing and art activities. Um, here they do photography, learn how to work with Adobe software. There are various new and uh, old uh, video cameras on the shelves here. And this is the heart of the theater at King's International. Guys, this is where all the production happens. And uh, Belau is the stage and seating for 350 people. A fully transformed auditorium where the seats can be removed for the orchestra. If you do theater, if you want to get into movies or something like this, uh, this is just an absolutely awesome place for you. And like every theater, it also has its uh, own dressing room and it's a real deal. And one more thing, uh, this uh, theater is also rented by professional organizations uh, that stage plays and uh, perform here. And guys, look at the size of this uh, hall where the children study and uh, learn to put on plays and act on stage. Just so you understand the scale of it all, I don't know, I can't imagine where you can find uh, better facilities for that. If you thought that was it, no, it's not. Not. Um, here's a mirror room, uh, just like for theater productions, but this one is for dancing. Dancing is closely connected to theater, and uh, there's uh, this nice separate room for it. 